Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Today I think I'd like to work on the mask of the character, but the thing about it is, let me go to an empty layer and go to here. The thing about it is it's really all one piece. It begins up here and it goes all the way down and is part of this whole triangular piece um, that goes all the way down to the belt. So if it were just a mask, I might use the retopology tools. But as it is, I think what I'm going to try and do is select faces and then duplicate them off of this. So let's try this. One thing is I've got all of the objects on different layers. I think I'm going to just get them all back real quick onto the first layer. So I'm just going to go to each layer, hit the A key to select everything, press M and then I'll go to the first layer here. So now at least we're all on the same layer here. And I'll go ahead and turn the visibility off for the outer eyes again. All right, so for the mask, I'm gonna select the main character here, tab into edit mode, go to face mode. And I think what I'll do is select everything above the belt here on the torso except for the part that shows through the mask. So let's begin up here. I'm going to hit the C key and then just click and drag and begin selecting faces up here. Now my edge loops don't match the way the mask is right now but I'm going to go ahead and select these and we can adjust them once they're split out. So I'm just using the circle select tool, the C key, and just selecting all these faces. I can even hit the Z key and then C, and now I'll select through the mesh. I don't want to select the inner mouth. I don't want to select any of that. But I do want to grab all of the faces around the eyes like that. And then I'll continue on down here. And then down here on the torso, I think I'm going to select faces to here, I believe, like this. And you can press the middle mouse button to deselect when you're in the circle select tool. And I'll just come down beneath the belt there. Actually, I think I'm going to deselect these right in here. So it's more like that. All right, so I think I've got all the faces I want now. So I'll now press Shift D and hit Enter to duplicate. Now, I want to pull these out from the base mesh just a little bit. And I could use the scale tool. I could hit S and scale out, but it's going to do some weird things here. It's going to stretch it too far up, etc. So I think what I want to do is use this shrink fatten tool. And you can see here that the shortcut key is Alt S. So I'm going to press Alt S and then I'm going to hold the shift key down to move very little bit and just drag with the mouse kind of pull these out just a little bit like there. So now we've got this extra piece here and while it's still selected I'm gonna go ahead and press the P key and separate it out into its own object like that. Now if I select this I'll go ahead and move it over to layer 2 now M2 and here we go. So here is the basic geometry of the mask and the torso. Now I went ahead and got all of the eye faces as well. The mask goes right up into the eyelids on the character, so I wanted those as well. All right, so now what we need to do is figure out what we need to keep, what we need to add, and how to shape this to get it the way we need it to be. So I'm going to select this and a couple things here. One thing is, is I can get rid of some of these faces in here and then redraw them with the retopology tools because this needs to actually come out like this 
and then down like that. So this isn't really going to work. So I'm going to select these faces and get rid of these with the X key and faces. And now what I want to do is create new faces that go along the cheekbone here. I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to go ahead and call this in the outline or I'll call it mask. And I'm going to use the B Surfaces plugin or add-on. If I tab into edit mode and I go over to the tools tab, you can see I've got B Surfaces right here. And I've added that if I go to file user preferences and type in B Surf. Here it is here. I've just added a check mark to this to enable it and then clicked save user settings and that will then ensure that it comes up in the tool shelf when you're in edit mode. So I'm going to close that out now. So what I need to do is enable the grease pencil so I can add faces along the curve of his cheekbone here. So let me hit the N key to go into the properties panel and here I can add a new grease pencil data block so I'll just click new and then over here in the grease pencil tab I need to select object and surface and ensure that I'm using continuous drawing here. Once I have those selected now let me give myself a little more room here now I can come over and click the draw button and now I can come into here and actually click and draw on the object itself. So there's one and maybe I need another one here. Something like that. So I want to extend these edges so they come across here. And if you take a look at it, if you tumble around, you can see that those lines have actually conformed to the curvature of the face. So once I've drawn what I want to draw, I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to go into edit mode, click these two edges here. And now I'm going to come over to that create tab, or excuse me, that tools tab. That's where the B surfaces is. And then I'm just going to click add surface. And there it goes. So now it's added that geometry from those selected edges through those grease pencil strokes. All right, so now I want to take this panel here, and I don't want three edges for every stroke. I'm just going to take that down to one there. All right, so I'll tab into object mode and just come over and select only the second layer and tab back in. And now I can grab this point and this point and merge them together with Alt-M, and I'll choose at last. And now these two points I need to pull back out. Actually, while I'm here, let me just connect these two here. Alt-M at last. There we go. And I could connect these up too, but I need an edge here. I need an edge to be able to connect this up. So I'm just going to press Control-R and insert an edge right in here. And now if I go back into edge mode, I can select these two edges and these two edges and press Control E to bring up the edges menu and then I'll choose bridge edge loops. And there we go, so that connects those up. Now you can kind of see that the polygons here are kind of blocky whereas everything else is pretty smooth. I can smooth that out by just tabbing into object mode and coming over here and clicking the smooth button under, under the shading area. There we go. And now Let's select, I'm going to select this edge right here. Tab back into object mode. Shift select that first layer. Tab back into edit mode. And now I've got that edge still selected and I can grab it and move it out some. So I'm just going to grab it and move it out this way and this way just so it comes out just a little more here. Now what I want to do is right over here I feel like the mask on the actual character doesn't go this far back. I could take this edge and move it forward some, but it'd kind of stretch things a bit. I'd like to add some polygons here. I'm not sure if this is going to work. We're going to have to test it out and see. 
What I think I can do is maybe take this edge and extrude it forward and then connect them up down here. There's going to be a tri, there's going to be a triangle polygon here at the corner of the jawbone, but I think that'll be okay. Let's try it and see. I'm going to hit the E key to extrude and pull this forward just a bit and then go into vertex mode and connect these up. Alt M at last and then these here let's see if this is gonna work or if it's all just gonna go, come crashing down on me here maybe I can select these two edges here and hit the F key and that will create a face there and as I said I'm gonna have a try but I don't think that'll be a problem let's try it there we go Okay, so now that we have the mask kind of the way I want it, the next thing I want to do is actually extrude in to give it a little bit of thickness, to give it the illusion of thickness. So I'm going to select this edge here and press E and hit the Enter key. And now I want to scale in, but before I do, I'm going to hit E just one more time to add one more edge. So I'll hit E and enter again and now I'm going to scale in like this alright so there's still going to be some work to do here but I think this might just work let me do a little point pulling and we shall see looks like I need to grab some of these points here and bring them in just a little bit like this and these can this can come forward a bit Now I think I'll grab some faces here and bring this up just a little bit, like so. and Bring this in just a bit, like that. So I'm just trying to fit this onto the character right now. Alright, so I think that's looking pretty good. There's more to do here, but I think that's going to work out okay. The next thing we need to do is to work on this part down here and there's going to be a good deal of point pulling and adjusting to get kind of a straight edge along here something that we can use to pull up and extrude in for those wings on the shoulders so we'll work on that coming up next thanks for watching and take care blender fans assemble it's time to create Captain America's motorcycle using hard surface modeling techniques in Blender. In this online course, you'll learn the tools and processes of modeling a complex, realistic vehicle. We'll use reference images taken of the motorcycle from the first Captain America movie on display at the Harley Davidson Museum. We'll build the bike up from the frame, assembling each piece using different Blender tools along the way. And we'll even go over setting up materials and lighting for a final render. This course is available at Blender101.com, where you'll also get my Blender Scene Creation course, the course that takes you through the entire process of creating an animated scene in Blender from the first polygon to the final rendered movie. And if you're just starting out with Blender, you'll also get the course Blender 101 Introduction to 3D Modeling, an in-depth course that covers the fundamentals of modeling in Blender. And at Blender101.com, you get new courses and projects every month. So join me as we create Captain America's motorcycle at Blender101.com. It's Blender for everyone.